Today we're doing MCU four versus Pikachu. <laughs> oh, for four would win. That that's the your argument. But no, it's proven MCU four is not as strong as people think he is. Some people think he's multiversal because he or universal because he beat Thanos, but he didn't beat Thanos. He just hit Thanos with the Stormbreaker in the chest, and you didn't really see much because you know there. He just was able to, you know, he was able to make Thanos, help Thanos, you know, with the Stormbreaker, but Thanos is still able to speak. And really, the real damage from Thanos and in, in Infinity War was caused by the Infinity Stones, not Fa not Thor's hammer. So, all those people saying that Thanos is universal, Thanos is comparable, you no, know, you know, for MCU or Stormbreaker can be and again. These are the same people who try to argue with the power levels with that Stormbreaker four can defeat Goku Super Saiyan from the Namek saga. Like, what kind of bullshit is that? Like, you had that power level with TL, and so we'll be talking about Asus Pikachu first. So Asus Pikachu is actually far more powerful than you think, TL. Yeah, so we have Asus Pikachu's Tio. Asus Pikachu is at least Mountain Over Plus. Has defeated several Pokemon, including Dragonite, Abomb Throw, and Tyranitar, most of them being extremely well trained. So, the, those are just a few examples. You know, large Mountain Over, stronger than even before, defeated Mega Evolution, po Mega Evolved Pokemon. You know, as well, you know, Vaporize type of being from a well trained Gyarados. And caused Rukia to flinch of a Thunderbolt as well. And we're not going to be using 10 billion Thunderbolt here. We're going to make Pikachu high universal. One shot merged Rusamine. Overwhelmed the defeated Tapu Koko's Guardian with one Z move, which makes Asus Pikachu multi high universal level. Okay. If we're using 10 million volts for from the MCU, we'll definitely lose against that because that's just some old, that's just OP right there. You know, we don't even need to get into that. You know, we can actually compare that to Comic Book 4. Comic Book 4 would still defeat Goku because Comic Book 4 beat Goactus, you know, a well fed Goactus who is, you know, universal, multiversal plus, basically, you know, there. But, you know, there, and Watch Mountain level are easy to feed a Gigantamax Dreadnought, who shrugged off a super effective Thunderbolt, held its own against Gigantamax Charizard. And Gigantamax Charizard and Dreadnought were both, are both mountain level, Watch Mountain level because they are basically Gigantamax forms. So, <laughs> the Gigantamax forms were defeated easily here. Now we're going to durability basically here. We're going to use the Mountain Rubble where he would demand two with Pikachu withstood. Again, this is just this is access Pikachu, not the standard Pikachu. Again. And we're not even going to include the movie feats where he was able to fight or access Pikachu was able to fight against legendary Pokemon. Okay. Remember when he was able when Pikachu was able to go against like, you know, Palkia and Yoga? Beans that were able to, you know, Warp the fabric or go against like Osseus. Remember that? Or you know, go against Groudon. Okay. And Pikachu was able to react to attack from Groudon and Kyogre who controls Groudon and is vastly faster than other non resonant Pokemon as well. So Pikachu would all using scaling would be multi call you know continent crash if we scale if we use the anime feats where he was able to fight against Kai. Yoga, no, that booby feeds was able to fight up against Kyogre, who was multi continental level as well. And you look at MCU force feeds, you look at MCU's force feeds, they're not that impressive. The you know, multi continental level is stronger because than island level, but speaking to would scale to Kyogre, you know, here, here, okay. You know, would scale to Kyogre, and Kyogre is multi continental level, and MCU 4 is not gonna do anything against that. Uh, you know, 
The only problem with Pikachu is Pikachu's attacks are mostly electric based. With a bet 4 can Pradus absorb <laughs> you can probably just absorb all of the electricity and control and beat Pikachu with that. You know, but Pikachu can probably use Iron Tail or something like that. You know, here. Here. 4 is massively hypersonic. Here. And large mountain crash with Stormbreaker. And yeah, I think Pikachu, you know... If we're using the Kyogre Fees and High Ball and P even we high high ball if we get on ten million if we give Pikachu ten million volts, that's high universal. But Ford would probably be able to absorb that because he's the god of thunder. If everybody's trying to put it back and Pikachu would be defeated. I I don't you know, I think Ford would be able to absorb all of Pikachu's powers. That would be the thing. P because Ford is the god of thunder, he can control extras, he's kinda you know Control electricity and stuff like that. You know. I think a creature that uses electricity against him would be pretty much fodder. Like that. Oh wait. I don't. I think that's kind of cool before I can do that. But you know. Does like that. But if 4 can't. I don't think 4. I, I think 4 has demonstrated in the MCU. He can absorb electricity from other characters. So. So he can't do that. So. Let's stop talking about four absorbing electricity. I think that's the only a comic book feat there, but you know basically, you know, I think four would probably still win if we exclude all of the rank feats, like the multi continental level feat and the high universal level feat. And again, this is just from a freaking Pikachu. This is you know, and the universal feats from, you know, the Pokemon from you know, the Pokemon movies, you know, Continental Level V from Poke the Pokemon movies, you know. Cause they really include those feats, that means yeah, that means here that means four would be screwed because we're using multiversal feats for Pikachu, so you know Dell not multiversal, high universal feeds for Pikachu, and it wouldn't really help in any case against 4, because 4 would be beaten by... Pikachu, it would. But highball Pikachu would probably win against MCU 4, okay? But, you know, lowball Pikachu would probably lose, because if Storm 4 and Stormbreaker 4 would still win. Okay, you know, forwards still win. He is I with Stormbreaker. He's Iron Over. Even with without, you know, where even before that, he was still Wards Mountain Over Plus. You know, and Pikachu is actually Wards Mountain Over, but he's not Wards Mountain Over Plus, so he would lose as well because he did with Stur because as his Pikachu did withstand, you know, against Gigantamax forms. And let's go look at speed, okay? You know, speed is the last factor we're going to go into here. And... And actually, Pikachu would be faster. Pikachu would actually be faster than... Four, and no, not using the Bifrost, because that's a thing that you... Because that's, that's basically outside help. Pikachu does out who runs out speed for using quick attack. You just out speed for. You didn't even have to fight for. You just out speed for. Okay, and the MCU. Okay, and the battles. Even if four is you know large about to level plus. And no good comic book four. Yeah, <laughs> comic book four would sit on Asus Pikachu because comic book four is you know freaking mountain level. It isn't mountain level, but four from the comics is planet level, which would destroy any Pikachu or Pokemon, would destroy like most Pokemon as well, because most Pokemon are not planet level, okay? Are not planet level, so there we go, so that is four versus Pikachu, so here, basically here, if we're using... 
comic book four, comic book four would destroy, but MCU four would actually lose in a battle. Okay, this is MCU four. So, and again, we're using Asa's Pikachu, you know, the Pikachu from the anime who basically has mountain level. So, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. Goodbye.